cumulative frequency graphs or ogives. Construct a cumulative frequency graph or ogive to represent the arrival times of cars at a car park shown in the following table. So if we look at this table, it represents the number of cars in a car park in various time slots. So between 9 and 10.30 in the morning, it says three cars arrived. Between 10.30 and 11, a further 50. 11 to 12, another 20. 12 to 1, another 10, and so on. So this is the number of cars arriving in each of those slots. The cumulative frequency graph, or ogive, reflects the arrivals of cars up to a particular point in time. So, for example, if we consider the cars that arrived before 12 o'clock, this would include the cars that arrived between 11 and 12, but all of the other slots as well. So, for example, the earlier slot of 9 to 10.30, and the one from 10.30 to 11, all cars that arrived in those three slots arrived before 12. So we'd count them all. So, we're now going to relook at the table and use it to calculate the cumulative data for the ogive. So here's the time slot 9 to 10.30 where we had three cars. We don't know when they came in. One might have come in at 5 past 9, the other at minute past 10, another one 10 past 10. We're not sure but we know that by the 10.30 all three cars were in. Similarly if we go to 11 o'clock we have an additional 50, so 50 plus 3, or 53 coming in. The 50 cars between 10, 30 and 11, plus the other 3. Similarly, if we go to 12 o'clock, we're now adding the 20, the 50 and the 3. All 3 slots apply, they're all before 12. So a total of 73. And likewise, by 1 o'clock, we have an additional 10, or 83 cars have arrived, and by 3 o'clock, an additional 8 or 91 cars have arrived. So we can represent the data there again. The cumulative data for each of the time periods. So by the end of 10.30 we have 3 cars, 11 we have 53, 12 we have 73, etc. And this is cumulative data. With this data, we can now construct the cumulative frequency graph, or ogive, using the data. We have everything we need to do it. Just to note the numbers, by 10.30 we had 3 cars, by 11 we had 53, and by 12 we had 73. So here's the graph. On the bottom we've got the time axis, starting at 9, then 10.30, 11, 12, etc. And then the number of cars to have arrived. And by 10.30, we are showing just three cars have arrived. By 11 o'clock, that's our 53. And by 12 o'clock, we're up at 73. So we just plug in the data from our graph as we received. By 3 o'clock, all the cars, all our 91 cars, have been entered. And at the start, when no cars had arrived, well, it was 9 o'clock. We had no data for that. So once constructed, the cumulative frequency graph can be used to provide additional data. Typical uses include giving an indication of the time by which certain percentages of cars had arrived. Key percentages of interest are 25% of the cars, 50% of the cars, or 75%, when a quarter, half, or three quarters of the cars had arrived. So people are interested in, when was the car park half full? What time... By what time had we 50% of the arrivals? These points are also referred to as Q1, Q2 and Q3 to represent quarters. Quarter 1, 25%, quarter 2, halfway point and quarter 3, 75%. So in the above case we had a total of 91 cars. This is taken to represent 100% of the cars. If that's the case, 25%, 50% and 75% of the cars can also be calculated. For example, 25% or 25 out of 100 of 91 cars would be 22.75 cars. 50% of the cars, 50% of 91 is 45.5 and 75% or 75 over 100 
of the total number of cars would be 68.25. So we might be interested in when were there more than 22 cars in the car park? When were there more than 45? When were there more than 68? So to do this, we draw horizontal lines from the values on the vertical axis, representing the numbers of cars to have arrived, to the points where they hit the ogive. And vertical lines are then dropped to the points of intersection. So let's look at that on the graph and see how that works. So in the case of 25% of the cars, not 25 cars, but 25% of the cars, or 22 and a bit cars, we can draw a line across there to represent quarter one, the first quarter. In the next line, by dropping the vertical, we can see that somewhere around 1040, or certainly between 1030 and 11, but maybe nearer 1040 than 1050, we had a quarter of the cars in place. So reading from the graph, it appears that 25% of the cars, or 22.75 of the cars, had arrived by about by about 10.40. We now move to the second quarter, or the halfway point, Q2, and we draw our horizontal and our vertical line down. And again, if we read from the graph, it appears that 50% of the cars had come in just before our 11 o'clock there. Maybe around 10.55 was when we hit that point. And in the case of 75% of the cars, or about 68 of the cars. We can see from the graph that at that point we exceeded 68.25, approximately about 11.45. Certainly after half 11, not as late as 12, maybe 11.45. Now, while more accurate measurements need to be done, we'd have to collect every single time of every single car, but the information from the graph is still useful from the ogive. For, for example, we can see that between 10.30 and 11, 10.30 and 11, these two points, the vast majority of the cars arrived in that space. So we can see that that's the busiest time. Perhaps we might need more staff on at the car park at that time, or whatever, or greater care and attention. That's the busiest period. And that's what ogives are used for.